all right guys so in this one we are going to write the um create a route to update a task now we're going to come here and like we've always done we're going to start from the controller so i'll come just below my delete task function and add a comment update task or update a task okay so this task should be task yeah and then i'm going to create a controller function which is just an asynchronous function actually and it will say update task all right now let's make sure we export it we add it to our exports so i'll just come down here and paste that in so update task go ahead and save and let's point to this update task from our route so what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this delete task and then let's just make the changes so this is going to be router.put remember in the pre one of the previous lectures i said that there are two methods um there are two request methods we can use to update a task with the put method and the patch method we're going to see both of them in action but let's just uh, complete this statement here first so this is going to point to the update task function and i'm going to auto import it like so so you see here we now have the update task all right great now i was talking about the put and the patch method now the put method when you want to use the put method to update um a piece of data in your database you have to specify okay for me to do this let me open my my task model great so you see in our task model we have the name and the completed these are the two fields that need to be imputed when you want to add an item to the database and you see they are both required so you need to have the two of them when you are using the put method to update a piece of data in your database you actually need to specify all the fields that have been created in the model so you need to add the name field and the completed field however when you are using the patch method you can specify just a single property that you want to update so for example if i want to just change the completed status of my task i can use the patch method i'll just set the completed and maybe set it to true or set it to whatever i want you see the default here is false so uh we're going to see that practically so let's just um proceed i'll go ahead and save this guy and we can now come to our controller and you know finish up the function so here i'll do a try catch just like we've done before and inside of this try catch and eh, the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to identify the id of the task we want to update and where is that id going to come from it's going to come from the id params so i'll come back here and i'll say const and destructure the id out of it and then i'll set that to be equal to request dot params like so now after after you've destructured the id let's try to update the task so i'll say const task and that's going to be equal to await and remember when you want to interact with your database you need to do it through a model in that in our case here we want to use the task model so task dot then we're going to use a special mongoose method which is find by id and update so we're going to say find by id you see there are a number of them but what we're interested in is and update in parentheses here you will now specify some things that you know some information that you want to give you know to the database so the first thing i want to give to the database is the id that i want to update and remember the id field so if i go to get all task remember the id field is actually underscore id all right so here i'm going to come and say underscore id that's small letter underscore id and i'll set that to point to this id that is coming from the params so that's the first uh uh, arguments you want to give to this find by id and update method i'm going to add a comma so i'll add a comma the next argument you want to give to this is what information what data do you want to use 
to update you know what is already existing in the database and that is going to come from our request body so here i'll say request dot body now the last information you want to give this um, method here is an object that will just specify that you are trying to make a new entry into the database so here i'll say new and i'll set that to true all right so this is all we need to actually update our task now that we've done this right i can come down here and then i do my response so i'll say response.status so i'll send the response the status of 200 if it's successful then i will now you know add the dot json so i want to return the data back to the user so that they can see what they've updated and then i'll just pass it the task here so this tax here i'll just pass it here if there's an error however i just want to grab this error line i'll copy that and then i'll just come here and paste that in simple all right so now let's go ahead and test this simple update function this is not all there is to updating um a an item in your database but this is the minimum the bare minimum that is necessary so i'll save that and then we're going to come here to test that route so i'll come to my insomnia and then i'll just use this delete task i'll duplicate this delete task so click on this downward arrow and duplicate then i'll change this uh, title here to update task or update a task create aha so this is it right here now don't forget it's a put request so you're going to make sure you look for put which is right here and let's make sure we change that here as well so you see we say router.put so we're on the right track so we come here then we need to specify the id of the task we want to update so let me just go to my get all task and i'll just you know send this guy okay so maybe i'll just update this task three so i'll just copy every oh sorry i'll just copy the id of task three and yeah i'll copy that and i'll go to my updates task request and then i'll paste that in here so delete this and then paste the new one great now you need to add the body right so here i'm gonna select here and make sure that you're in form url encoded then here i'll specify the name which i'm just going to still leave as task 3 but i'll add updated so task 3 updated then I'll specify the completed. Now, note that I don't need to specify the completed because even if you don't specify it, it will still be added because we set a default. So if you don't specify anything in the completed, this default, which is false, will be added. But I just want to specify. So I'll say completed and then I'll set that to true. All right. So I'm making it different. True. Great. Oh, uh, this stuff is hanging. So let me just wait. Okay, so it's back. All right. So now, fingers crossed, let's go ahead and test this route. So I'll send. Aha. So look at what we get here. We get tax 3 updated and completed is set to true. Now, there's one thing I want to draw to your attention, though. Remember that in our model, we said that we don't want, we want this name uh, property to be required. We set it to true. And that if there is no, you know, text entered into the name property, we want to send an error that please add a task. Let's try it, however. So I'm going to delete this task 3 and just leave an empty string and send. Ah, what happens? It actually went. So you see here, we now have name and it's an empty string. So I actually waited for this to happen to draw something to your attention. Whenever you're updating a task, whenever you're um, yeah, updating a task, the validation that you set in your model does not apply for the validation to apply you need to specify it when you're updating the task that you want the validation to be applied how are you going to do that i'll come back to my task controller and in this last object here so you see defined by id and update has three arguments the id the body and then this last object where we set new to let the database know that we are trying to make a new entry you're just going to come here and add another property and the name of that property is run 
validators and you're going to need to set that to true okay then you save by adding this run validators property and setting it to true you are telling this function that when you look into the model make sure you you know run all the validators and make sure that you know the user has entered what they need to enter before they can submit so i'll come here and i'll try to run this again with an empty string send aha so you see here we get an error it says please add a task okay so now we need to actually add something here uh i'll just say task three updated and then i'll send and watch what happens aha so you see now we get it as three updated all right so now let's come back and complete our polish up our update task function now we are able to update the task but what if we try to update a task that doesn't exist that maybe has been deleted for some reason just like we did before well let me actually just go up and grab that line of code so if the task does not exist this is from delete task i'll just grab this i'll copy that and i'll come here to my update task so after i've gotten the task in the database i'll come down here just before my response 200 status response i'll paste that in so here i'm just saying that if the task does not exist then i just want to say that there's no task with that id and return status of 404 which is not found so at this point i think we're done with um, this functionality save that and if you try to update a task that doesn't exist you're going to get an error so that's about it for this one uh thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one all right so now if i wanted to update this task but i just wanted to update just a single field instead of just updating everything i would i would prefer to use the patch method now this is a very relatively simple project it just contains two uh, fields name and completed but you may have a very complex real world project where you have several fields which is what we're going to build in the next uh, uh in the next project when you want to update a single field then you should just use the patch method instead of using the put to update the entire thing so i'll come and make some modification to my um code in my update task for example i'll start here so instead of this task route instead of saying put i'll change it to patch just like when you want to patch like a dress you know you just want to replace a small part that is missing you just want to repair a small part that's missing so i'll change this to patch and then i'll come to my insomnia and then i'll change this to patch as well okay so now if i wanted to update only this completed value back to false currently you see it's true let me delete this name and then i'll set this back to false and then i'll click send and as you can see it has changed here back to false so that's the use case for patch if i want to if i have like a model that has several properties and i just want to update one single data one single piece of data inside of those several you know data lists i'll use the patch method so that's how it works and let me just be sure i'll go to get all task and oh sorry i need to clear this I'll just fire the get all tasks so that you can see that it has actually been updated here. And as you can see, we have task uh, three updated and then false. All right, so that's about it for how to use the put versus the patch method. See you in the next one.